You can easily turn any link with a custom URL into a dynamic field with dynamic URLs. Let me show you how to do that. I have here a little image that I want to link and send it to the IMDB page. If you've created an asset that can bring in this dynamic content, then you can just go and create a dynamic field for it. For more on blogging within Brizzy Cloud and asset creation, follow the playlist link in the description below. Let's go to the CMS and over here I've created this asset called reviews. Click on the configure icon and then scroll all the way to the bottom and here you find the link field. Select it and this will drop in a new field with a URL link. Select it, go to the link and all you need to do is give it a name. Let's say IMDB and then that's it. You can make it required. Click outside and make sure that you select save and finish. After this, let's select reviews and go update the data within our asset. I scroll to the bottom and you see here we have that placeholder now for the IMDB URL. I'll go copy, paste the URL and update. Select edit. And now I'm going to make sure that within the global block I've created for this dynamic data, that I'll actually set this link to the dynamic field. I'll select my image, go to link and then link to. I'll click here on the disks for dynamic data and you will see that I have the IMDB link over here. Nicely done. So select open a new tab, update and we go test it on the front end. Click on it, opens up a new tab in your browser, easily done. This can be done with anything that can be linked, columns, and also with inline text. If I have a paragraph with text, and I'll just use a placeholder one here, I can select some of the text, go to the link, dynamic data, IMDB. And even though we're not seeing any indication that it is linked currently, if we go and view it on the front end, you will see that we have an underline showing us that this is the hyperlink. Over here, dummy text, select, and it takes us to IMDB.